Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tara. Hope everyone is well. It's Sunday night, so it's time to throw down cards for the work week top and bottom of the deck reading. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It's Libra season. Libra's an air sign, so I'll start with the air signs and go around the wheel accordingly. Pardon me while I silence my phone. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't know where your sun sign is as far as the elements go, I'll shout the signs out as I go through the different decks, because I use a different deck for every element, as those of you who have been around for a while know. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. Take with you what is yours, leave behind what is not. And it is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to be the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check your other placements. Your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Pluto, your Jupiter. Whatever you feel you need to check, feel free. Please do so. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of our, our friends, the cross watchers. And our friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here. So without further ado, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys this week? All right. Pulling off the top and the bottom. Your current state of mind. The moon in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Hmm. I gotta ask, is there a forest behind those trees? Because I think you're finally starting to see it. I think you're in a state of patiently waiting for something. Something's fruiting. Secrets are coming out. Things are about to come out in the wash. Possibly something you've been waiting for for a minute. Okay. All right. What happened? Mm. Two of cups in the reverse in the sun. Okay. <clears throat> Possibly there was a disconnect, but you were able to maintain. Keep smiling anyway. Perhaps this was a blessed union. Meaning... It's their significance. It's a significant connection in your life. It may not be mutually felt or seen, but it was significant. Okay. Hmm. What happened after that? Judgment in the upright, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, well. As chapters close and new chapters open with this King of Pentacles reverse, perhaps, perhaps this person you were dealing with, if, if this is in regards to a person, wasn't all they were cracked up to be? Maybe, perhaps. They weren't what they built themselves up to be. Good possibility there. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's going on this week? Mm. Air sign, friends, I think you're about to run out of patience. Temperance reversed, king of wands in the reverse. Hmm. You're about to run out of patience in a big hurry. As things come out. It's a negative energy here. Things screeching to a halt, towels being thrown in. Wow. I just hear a Jake break on a semi. <laughs> Laying rubber on the road as you're trying to stop. Okay. Well, let's see if we can die. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I forgot. I forgot. I'm doing this a little bit differently now. I'll leave those for the end. There we go. I forget it happens. Universe, source, and spirit. Can we get some clarity on the cards on the table for 
our air sign friends please two without intention six of cups upright nine of cups upright okay well some happy memories with this person perhaps they filled your cups at one point perhaps through everything you're maintaining some emotional stability okay I'm going to throw one on this two of cups reverse just because I'm curious. What's up with that? Okay. It gave me three. Why not? Yeah, high priest upright. Seven of wands upright. Lovers reversed. Speaking of blessed unions. Hmm. And sometimes those blessed unions keep this in mind. Again, with the teaching moments in our lives. I think this is what this was. Could have been a fire sign you're dealing with. Maybe a Gemini, maybe a Taurus. I say fire sign because of the seven of wands here. This was about control. Perhaps there was a disconnect because someone had some inner demons they were dealing with, had some stuff going on. They had to get a handle on things, maybe. Maybe that's why it disconnected if it did. Why is the sun here? Six of Pentacles. Could have been a Leo, could have been an Earth sign. Still maintaining. Trying to be fair about things. Trying to look at this from a positive fair point of view. Okay. One more on that. One more. Hi. Two of swords reversed. Yeah, a difficult decision had to be made. This person possibly brought you a great deal of happiness, or you brought them a great deal of happiness. But in all fairness, a, a difficult decision had to be made. They were dealing with some stuff. Either you were or they were. Somebody had some stuff they had to deal with. That's why it disconnected. I think truths are coming out. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Empress reversed. Somebody had to make a judgment call because this wasn't going to go anywhere. Wasn't all it was cracked up to be. What's up with the King of Pentacles reversed? Am I feeling that vibe? Am I feeling that vibe? I think I'm feeling that vibe. Hermit reversed. Somebody having their head in the sand about what was really going on. One or the other of you knew, but didn't want to deal with it. I think eventually you had to, though. Why is temperance reversed here? You want to talk. Star reversed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's lots of negative energy. <laughs> Two of Pentacles reversed. Negative energy, emotional juggling. Can't quite th keep things up in the air this coming week, guys. Why is King of Wands reversed here? 
I can't wait to get to the outcome. This is going to be interesting. Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, it might seem like... It's going to be painful. Oftentimes it can be painful when we got to swallow a giant lump of pride like that. And I'm feeling it build up in my throat right now. And I don't think I have any air anywhere in my chart. I don't know. I have to look at it again. Towels being thrown in. It's going to feel like the sun's never going to shine again. There's negative energy. You're ticked off. You feel like you're never going to heal from this. King of Pentacles reversed again. How did I not see this? How did I not know? Things are going to be eliminated. This person brought you great happiness. But it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. All right. Projected outcome. Knight of Swords upright. Five of Wands reversed. Well. Why is the, why is the Knight of Swords here? My little Sherlock Holmes. My little information getter. He tells the truth. He speaks the truth. He comes in swiftly. Give me one card on this Knight of Swords, please. Full reversed. Mm. I just heard, don't believe everything you see on somebody's social media. I don't know who that's for, but that's what I just heard. So whoever that's for, you know what's for you. Don't believe everything you see on somebody else's social media. So if you're doing a little bit of social media stalking, I'd sort the lies from the truth. And I think you're already doing what the cards say you're doing. Why is the five of wands reversed here? Ten of pentacles. Yes. Yes, eventually. Absolutely. coming to a place where you're no longer squabbling or arguing, where weapons have been laid down, towels have been thrown in, prosperity comes, the happy ending comes. Okay. Five of Swords upright, Two of Pentacles upright. Well, the Fives are about change. The Five of Swords can indicate things that happen behind closed doors if it's in the reverse. So, this being in the upright, picking up pieces perhaps. So I'm going to take this as let the dust settle, pick up what is yours, leave behind what is not, get your stability back, get your balance back, and let's get the other half of that, because I think, yeah, change is coming. Well, that's a beautiful thing right there. Death in the upright, two of cups in the upright. Once you gain your bearings and regain your balance, 
and allow whatever lesson you were supposed to learn from this to process, you'll metamorphosize. And that chubby little caterpillar going into that cocoon and becoming a moth or a butterfly. Really, the only difference is one of them eats your sweaters. It's really the only difference in, in my eyes. But, you know, I'm not a bug person, so. And you'll find that connection that's meant for you. It wasn't this one. This was a teaching connection. Okay? Air sign friends, that's what I have for you. Water sign friends. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. <clears throat> Was the universe have in store for you this morning? One more. I'm feeling one more. <laughs> Two of cups upright. Empress reversed. It's beautiful. It's new. It's magical. And you're kind of in a mindset of wondering right now, is it really going to go anywhere? kind of where you're at right now. It's like, you know what? I, I, I have feelings, but I don't have long-term feelings. Okay, well, let's see what's up with that. In the past, two of wands in the upright, knight of pentacles. Okay. You walked the path. You came to the fork in the road. You chose a fork. You chose the fork of abundance. The slow going, slow moving, yet stable offer. Okay. All right, so you chose the path that you walk. What's next? High Priestess Upright, Ace, Ace of Cups. All right. High Priestess indicates, or can indicate a, a strong soulmate connection with the two pillars there. You listened to your intuition on this one. You followed your gut. Let's find out what that Ace of Cups is about. New love cycle, new start. It could have something to do with the phases of the moon. Hmm. I don't know why I just heard flavor of the month. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense with that high priestess, but we'll get clarity in a second. Next. Yeah, this week, Queen of Swords upright, Nine of Wands reversed, oh boy. The Queen of Swords, she's honest. If she's anything, she's honest. Often slightly cold-hearted, but she speaks her truth, and she expects the truth in return, and sometimes she takes that mighty sword and she cuts people out of your life. Sometimes we become the Queen of Swords, or we have to deal with the Queen of Swords. Don't pay attention to the sex of the card. It really doesn't mean anything. The Queen of Swords can be male or female. It's one of the things I love about the tarot, it's very non-binary. Hmm... That Nine of Wands reverse, it, I'm feeling giving up the ghost. 
being honest with yourself and giving up the ghost. That's what I'm feeling off of that. We're going to save that to the end. Let's get a little bit of clarity on this because this is some wild stuff, let me tell you. Universe, Ghost, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please? Water sign friends, please. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I didn't even ask a question yet, but there's the King of Swords. Hmm. It's new. It's fresh. It's fun. Great connection. Maybe you're having a good time. But it's not long term. The King of Swords, that, that's being honest with yourself and making logical, non-emotional decisions right there. Hmm. Okay. Why is it two of wands here? Just one card. Six of cups in the reverse. Possibly you came to a crossroads in your life. Possibly you had salty feelings towards someone else and that's what put you at the crossroads. And uh, maybe that's you chose the path away from someone that you had salty feelings about. Okay. Okay, you know, sometimes that's what takes us down the paths is trying to get away from other people, you know. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. It's what happens. It's part of life. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Six of Wands upright, three of Swords reversed. Oh my. And the soulmate came marching in. This is kind of cool. They're both on a horse. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. They're both riding horses. Maybe someone possibly from your past doesn't necessarily have to be. Came marching in. Maybe a soulmate from a different lifetime. I don't know. I mean, we all play the game together and over and over and over again, right? Somebody came to take some pain away, take some salty feelings away. Maybe put a band-aid on something for you for a while. Hmm. Okay, well. Why is the high priestess here? Ten of Wands. Ending of a burdensome cycle. Followed your intuition. One more. Death reversed. Oh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Could be a Sagittarius, could be a Scorpio. Possibly this burdensome cycle is in the process of ending, but... Why death reversed? Why death reversed? Hi. Five of Swords. One more. 
Ah, two of swords reversed. Okay. Blindfolds coming off. Burdensome cycles ending, following your intuition. Someone came back into your life. Maybe that person hadn't changed. Bringing a cycle to an end. Why is the Ace of Cups here? King of Pentacles. Oh, okay. That's an even better offer than that one. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Page of Swords reversed. I don't see you communicating, though. I don't see you saying anything. Mm. Difficult choices being made. Hmm. I took the wrong darn fork. I just heard I took the wrong darn fork. There are no such things as wrong forks. Ever. All the forks lead to the same destination. It's all about the journey. And these journeys are things we need to learn from. No such thing as a wrong fork. You may regret a fork or two, but that doesn't mean it was the wrong fork. I don't believe in regret either. Nope. Not at all. But that's just me. Why is the Queen of Swords here for what's coming in this week for our water sign friends? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Five of Cups. Uh, had to happen, I guess. Speak your truth, live your truth, do what you gotta do. Logical head over heart decisions. Breaking hearts. Sometimes breaking hearts breaks our hearts, doesn't it? Sometimes. One more. Ah! Crap on a cracker. Three of Cups, Justice, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Maybe you're going to decide to just be friends. Hmm. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. This is just going to balance out the playing field. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? You want to talk. Hi. Ten of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Throwing in the towel of a situation, doing what is best for you, for your abundance, and your goals. If the goals don't line up. I, it is what it is, isn't it? All right. Outcome, Page of Swords reversed, Page of Pentacles upright. Let's throw one on that because keeping communication cut off until an apology comes in. Empress upright. Hmm. 
Well, that's the outcome. Hmm. So here's the good news. Something better is coming for you. Just keep into yourself for a while and let that small offer come to great abundance. Let a bird something wonderful and long lasting. I like it. Why not? That's cool. Let's get some advice. Ten of Wands in the upright and the Sun in the upright. There was a Ten of Wands somewhere in here. It was right there. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to release this burden to let the sun shine again. You got to allow that cycle to close out. Let the sun shine again in your life because the only one preventing the sun from shining in your life is you. It's really hard to see the sun through a big pile of sticks. The Hanged Man in the Upright and the Seven of Cups in the Reverse. Accept the fate of the situation. Don't get all emotionally hung up on it. Allow those awkward emotions or those mixed emotions to cause confusion in your life. Because until you accept this for what it was and release the burden of it, the sun's not going to shine. You got to release the burden, guys. Okay. That being said, I'm going to try to do this again. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just going to blow through. I'm just going to keep going. I was going to stop and fill my coffee, but I'm afraid of that pause button because it freaks me out. So I'm good for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, my son's teacher texted Okay. Sort these out. <clears throat> it's amazing the technology that we have. <clears throat> Did you know I know my son's in trouble at school before he knows he's in trouble at school? Did you know that? <clears throat> and he's finally learned he can't get away with anything at school because I always know about it when he gets home. But, Mom, sorry, you know, um, your teacher narked you out. It is what it is, bro. All right, fire sign friends, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys this week? Pumpkin spice, I love it. <clears throat> Cold coffee from this morning, it's amazing. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the tower in the reverse and the strength in the reverse. The rebuilding of a tower can be draining, can it? I guess it depends on what you're trying to rebuild and how much of the dust has settled since the falling of the tower. But that's where you're at right now. That's what's going on. <clears throat> Have you recuperated enough from the falling of the tower? That's a good question. Let's see what happened. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. Things were not equal.
Someone was left standing at the crossroads, not knowing what to do or where to go. What happened after that? Page of Pentacles upright, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Could have been a, an apology bestowed. Somebody ended up in the doghouse. Anyway, the house plan ended up on the back deck because it didn't want to do what it was supposed to do inside the house. So you had to kick it out for a while. Go get some sunshine. Go get some rain. You're not working in here right now. Okay, fair enough. I don't even think I need to clarify this so far. I mean, I might anyway, but what's going on this week? Oh, wow. Knight of Wands in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse. I may have spoke too soon. Has the dust settled enough? Um... Hmm. I gotta figure out what this Knight of Wands reverses. If this is lack of forward movement or somebody wanting to commit. Because this King of Cups reversed is screaming emotional closing off or losing the feels. Huh. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some... Clarity on the cards on the table for my fire sign friends, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Fire sign friends, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is going on? Alright, I pretty much got that. I'm worried about this. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Oh, wow. That was a quick answer. Ten of Pentacles reversed. not moving forward with it because you know it's not the abundance that you want. It's not the path you want to take. One more. Five of Swords in the Upright comes out. You're still picking up pieces. There's a change going on in you right now. You're still picking up the pieces. You see, the Three of Swords is the heartbreak part. The Four of Swords... If I can make words work right now. The Four of Swords is the rest, chill, process, relax, deal. The Five of Swords is picking up the pieces. And then the Six of Swords is moving on. So, you're still picking up the pieces this week. Acknowledging that it is not the path you want to take. It is not the path to your abundance. So you're not going to move forward with it. So why is the King of Cups reversed here? You want to talk. Eight of Swords reversed. Emotionally closing yourself off to it. Getting out of your head about it. Not allowing yourself to be trapped in a cage of your own thoughts. Thank you. Seven of Swords reversed. Perhaps some truth is coming out about things. It often happened when dust settles. And you can see clearly. Queen of Swords reversed. Perhaps someone wants to rebuild a tower with you and the concept is just draining and you got a bad attitude about it. Yeah, I can see that because it's not the path you want to take and perhaps truths are coming out about the situation. You're emotionally closing yourself off to it this week. All right, flip it over. What's the projected outcome? <laughs> Ten of 
temperance in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse. Oh my goodness. Fire signs make up my mind. All kinds of negative energy in regards to the situation, but the five of pentacles reversed is all about coming out of the cold. So now I'm totally confused. Why is temperance reversed here? Oh, well, okay. Queen of cups reversed, five of wands reversed. Negative energy out the wazoo. Again, with the no emotion, but there's no communication. There's no arguing. So you're going to come out of a state of conflict with this person, but you're going to stop caring too because of all this negative energy. One more on that. Nine of cups in the upright, four of wands in the reverse. You're almost going to enjoy slamming this door. Fire signs, my friends. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. But you're enjoying slamming this door because of all this negative energy. Say, like, I'm good with me. I'm good not arguing with you. Bye bye. You see that? You see that pier over there? Go take a long walk off of it because no. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that's what I see happening here. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here? Now I'm really curious. Knight of Pentacles. One more. Three of Cups. Well, that's interesting. Now, I have no way of telling when the projected outcome is going to happen. I don't see you going from take a long walk off a short pier into let's be friends within the span of a week, but your fire signs, you're, you're impulsive like that. I get that because I are one. So if it happens, it happens. But after the door slams, I see somebody still trying to come in out of the cold and want to be friends again, but come in with that fabulous, fantastic apology. So do it, do what you will with it, fire signs. It's, it's all you. <laughs> it's all you. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened, but... Mm. Good luck with the dust. Your advice, four of wands in the upright, fool in the reverse, okay? Hmm. Be wary of what open doors you walk through. That's what I'm hearing. Be wary of open doors. Trust the door before you walk through it. Don't jump. I know it's hard. I get it. But don't jump. You can't afford to be impulsive on this one. I don't know who that's for, but... Ten of Swords in the reverse, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. I love, this is one of my favorite phrases because I think I say it at the end of, at some point, every time I lay down cards, the only one with the power to end this painful cycle is you. So I think you've come to a point where you need to work on working on you with this nine of pentacles and being emotionally independent, financially independent. If that's your will, if that's what you do. But yeah, the painful part of this won't come to an end until you can be emotionally okay by yourself. Don't jump, fire signs. All right. Earth signs. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sometimes it comes easy. Sometimes it's like pulling teeth. It's just how we roll. Just how we roll. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what's going on with you guys? In the upcoming week. Aha! Uh -huh. It's fine. Oh my goodness. You don't see that every day. Are they all out of there now? Are they all out of there? Goodness. That's what I get for not counting the cards. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now I'm being told to look. Okay, are we done now? Are we done? Good Lord. Yeah, this is gonna end up on YouTube bloopers, I can already tell. I smell a midweek bonus. For at least nine zodiac signs. Okay. Seven of swords upright, four of pentacles upright. Somebody may be harboring a secret. Okay. Princess of Pentacles upright. Three of Swords upright. The boys are playing on the Xbox. Hmm. Harboring a secret? In the past, Princess of Pentacles, Three of Swords. It was slow moving and heartbreaking. We're going to have to clarify this one. My gosh. Four of Swords and the Devil. Current energy, what's going on right now? Processing the Heartbreak. I don't like that Devil card, though. Normally it doesn't bother me, but I don't like it. Could just be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but I got a lot of Earth and I got a lot of Air right now. Hmm. Seven, three and four is seven.
processing a heartbreak, toxic energy. Slow moving. Slow moving offer of stability. How did we go from there to here? Harboring a secret. What's going on this week? Five of Pentacles reversed in the moon. Earth sign friends, what is up with that? Universe, source, and spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my earth sign friends, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Shadow side. Earth signs, I don't like it. Somebody could potentially be harboring a secret about their own or someone else's dark side. Toxic energies or toxic habits could be harboring a secret about a toxic relationship. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Why is the Princess of Pentacles here? Hangman in the reverse and the Four of Swords in the upright. Emotionally stuck, emotionally hung up. In a period of rest. Huh. One more. Two swords reversed. Blindfolds coming off, seeing things as they really are. Or having to make a painful decision, not accepting the fate of a situation. Good grief, earth signs. Why is the Three of Swords here? Judgment reversed. Possibly whatever this was was hung up somewhere else. It, it depends. Are you giving the pinnacle or are you taking the pinnacle? I guess that can swing either way. All things being vice versa in the tarot. Somebody made a reverse to judgment call, either causing the broken heart or resulting from the broken heart. One more. Four of Wands. Hmm. 
Somebody reversing a judgment call. Somebody, somebody walked away from the page. Why is the Four of Swords down here? For what's going on right now. Four of Pentacles showed up again. Holding on to someone, something. What are you holding on to? Resting on that heartache, harboring some emotions, possibly along with a secret. <laughs> Two of Cups comes flying out. King of Wands upright, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Uh, sorry, King of Wands reversed, Eight of Pentacles upright. Taking some time working on you. Not moving forward this because you're harboring harboring feelings. Harboring feelings about this connection. Two of Cups. You're hanging on to it. Maybe they don't know you're hanging on to it, and that's the secret you're hanging on to. Why is the devil here? Possibly someone's a little bit obsessed. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. Oh my. Obsessive. Deep feelings and emotions. Maybe you're obsessively texting this person or they're obsessively texting you. A lot of messages going back and forth. It's coming in for this week. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? Chariot came out. One more. Empress. Somebody coming in out of the cold. Potential for growth. Potential for long-lasting happiness. Potential for abundance. This cherry. Okay, so it could be a Taurus or a Gemini. It could be a Cancer. Cancer's going the distance. Okay. Coming out of the cold, going the distance. Perhaps someone's coming from a great distance or calling or texting from a great distance. Saying they want to come out of the cold and start something new and abundant. Okay, why is the moon here? <laughs> and of course the nine of swords that come out. Nine of swords upright, ten of pentacles reversed. You just don't know. You're still hanging on to something. going to be all up in your head about the things that you don't know and the abundance that it wasn't. What's the outcome? High Priestess upright, Queen of Pentacles upright. Yes. Ultimately, I see you using your intuition. one on that. I do like it because the Queen of Pentacles knows her worth and she has enough pentacles of her own. She doesn't need anybody else's. Absolutely not. And I see you using your intuition on this one. Right now you're just harboring a secret. 
I think those secrets might be coming out in the wash very soon, though. What do I have? High Priestess reversed, Queen of Wands reversed. I love the fact that you're striving for independence. Not quite liking how you projected to go about it, but then again, you know, the journey can change from person to person. It is possible to maintain your self-worth without tearing someone else's down. Be kind, be nice, and let's get your advice. Don't go all egotistical and egomaniacal on somebody now. Tower in the upright, ten of swords in the reverse. Hmm, really don't like that. I don't know who this is for and it's just they're they're banging it into my head right now I just I just have to come out and say it you got to let the tower fall you got to let the tower fall so the cycle can end and the pain can end and the Sun can shine again because until that tower finally falls and again I don't know who this is for but until that tower finally falls you're stuck you got to let the tower fall you got to let the swords go in and you got to let the pain do whatever it's going to do so the sun can shine again. Eight of wands upright, five of wands upright. Yep. Just get it over with. <laughs> Onward and upward. If it's going to be a confrontation, it's going to be a confrontation. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Don't postpone the inevitable. Earth signs, this is what I have for you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you all wholeheartedly. You know, I really mean it this week since the internet's back up and the Chromebook's functioning like it should be for the most part. All sun sign readings for the month of October will be up by the 1st of October. It's happening. All right. I gotta go make a kid some dinner and get a kid a bath and get the kid to bed. So be blessed. Be kind to one another. Love yourself first. And take some time for you this week. I love you to bits. Catch you later.